Hello dear Phasmatic friends! Today we are starting with algebra! It is very very nice and very important to know the rules of signs. So, let's go! First of all, you have to remember very very well that there are rules for the signs where you are adding and subtracting numbers. And there are other rules for the signs when you are multiplying or dividing numbers. It is very, very important. That's why I am dividing the blackboard in order to see those different rules. When you add or subtract, the first rule, if signs are the same, add and keep the sign. For instance, minus 5 minus 3 equals, you read the rule, you have to add 5 plus 3, 8, and keep the sign. What's the sign? It is a negative sign. Why? Well, that is, if you owe five dollars and after that you owe three dollars, you owe eight dollars. Now another example. Plus three plus eight equals. So here we have two positive signs. And sometimes you can write it or you cannot write it. If it is at the beginning, it is the same to write it or not to write it. But if it is in the middle of two numbers, if you don't write the positive sign, you are not indicating that you are adding numbers. Here it is very important, here you can write it or don't write it. So, signs are the same, then add 3 plus 8, 11 and keep the sign. We keep the positive sign. That is, I earned three dollars, I earned eight dollars, so I earned eleven dollars. The second rule, very, very important rule. If signs are opposite, subtract and take the sign of the biggest number. So, for instance, negative seven plus three equals here we have different signs. So, you subtract 7 minus 3, 4. And you take the sign of the biggest number. What's bigger? 7 or 3? 7. What's its sign? Negative sign. So, the answer will be negative. Why? Because if you owe 7 and you pay 3, you owe 4. Let's see another example. Plus 8 minus 4. Each number has a sign. The 4 has a negative sign, the 8 has a positive sign. So, different signs, opposite signs. You subtract 8 minus 4 is 4. And after that, you take the sign of the biggest number. What's bigger? 8 or 4? 8. What is its sign? Positive. Okay. So, you have 8 dollars. You pay 4 dollars. You have 4 dollars. Okay. After that, we're going to see that for multiplication and division is maybe simpler. Let's start. Positive multiplied by positive equals positive. Positive by negative equals negative. Negative by positive equals negative. Negative by negative equals positive. That means if you have the same sign, you are going to write a positive sign. But if you have different signs, you are going to write a negative sign for multiplication and division. It is the same if you divide 
positive by positive. Or you divide positive by negative. The same. For instance, plus 5 multiplied by plus 3 equals plus times plus plus 5 times 3 15 it is very important to multiply first the signs and after that the numbers second example plus 3 times minus 4 positive times negative negative 3 times 4 12 another example negative 1 times positive 5 equals negative times positive negative 1 times 5 5 finally minus 4 times minus 3 equals negative times negative positive 4 times 3 12 thank you very much dear friends remember this for the whole life it is very very important for mathematics for algebra see you next time